Hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture, I'm going to tell you why we should do uh, electric vehicle minor course from Gujarat Technological University. This is my another video before two years I have uploaded this. And it is uh, something which is very important for you to understand what are the scope, what research you can do in electric vehicle. So uh, once you uh, are up to date with electric vehicle minor course, if you have gone through 100% point to point of the syllabus of GTU minor electric vehicle course, you will understand this and you will catch something on that and you can start your own research. So let us see why all these things are important. One is uh, uh, when electric vehicle is taught, uh, as we know that in the block diagram, the EV architecture we had uh, studied uh, related to various uh, subsystems in electric vehicle. Let us see one by one. So uh, particularly you can do research in EV for this course is available on the screen. One is aerodynamics and efficiency, motors and its drives, storage system, charging stations, and grid communication with electric vehicle. So uh, mainly these are the five systems related to electric vehicle where, can, where you can uh, do your own research. Let us see one by one. First is aerodynamics and its efficiency. So in this uh, particular subdomain of EV, you can do design of vehicle, that may be another look that may be uh, you know how efficiency can be increased how you can reduce the uh, air friction losses etc et and the efficiency expected is around about two to four percentage okay uh, in that case you have uh, uh, option of changing a material the safety of the passenger safety of the battery safety of the motor and another uh, concept is reduce the weight of the vehicle. Try to reduce uh, in your research the various losses of the vehicle and optimize the prediction of your vehicle uh, maintenance, your electric vehicle repairing system when you need which kind of repairing, how much kilometer you can drive in. So all these things are uh, in aerodynamics and efficiency. So you can start if you are a mechanical guy, automobile guy, or maybe you are metallurgy and you are much more interested in selecting the material for electric vehicle. So these are the options for you. Okay. Then another is motors and its drives. So first thing comes that is selection of motor. So running characteristic and matching with uh, motor available in the market, or uh, you can have. Uh, your own motor designing concept also. Well, in this case, you have to take care of less weight and better performance of the motor and the spontaneous uh, you know, control or spontaneous command uh, recognition from the controller to the motor. Okay, and another is uh, monitoring of its parameters. So continuous condition monitoring Monitoring of the motors in EV that is also one of the good area where uh, lots of people has yet tried but not success. Anyway, and then uh, compact and cheaper drivers easy to be replaced and um, you know it, it's easy to uh, uh, understand for the uh, layman also for uh, while it goes to garage. Okay. And then multi-purpose function of motors, it is there because, you know, uh, sometimes you will require regenerative braking, sometimes you require, you know, to increase the speed as well as the torque, and maybe a U level, two, three levels of torque uh, is expected in the electric vehicle. So uh, basically, these are uh, the area of Subdomain of motors and its drives, you can do if you are electric, electrical engineering student, or if you are a mechanical engineering student, 
or if you are computer and IT student, you can test this area. Okay, and uh, another important the heart of uh, electric vehicle that is storage system. So here comes battery, monitoring system of battery, recycling of battery, hybridization of storage system, testing and validation, and including the thermal management system also. So basically, if you are uh, dealing with uh, you know increasing the range of electric vehicle, the fast charging system, then you should touch this area. And uh, in compared to the driving cycle of EV, you can do uh, research on battery development, battery designing, monitoring of the battery, the state of health and state of charge, adaptive discharge, number of life cycles, all these things you can monitor, including the temperature. Okay, and recycling of batteries that is a you know uh, the biggest headache in the uh, battery manufacturer. So you can test this area and then hydration of the storage depending on the torque and current requirement uh, you can have you know change over of the storage system and then there is a testing and validation of the storage lots of people develop lithium and lots of people work on uh, nickel metal hydride and how uh, energy density can be increased how far density can be increased but after uh, you know a successful development of the storage system you need some testing and validation so there are lots of platform lots of standards available including assay and ieee you can do some research on testing and validation of the storage system okay so this is another sub domain for our research in ev another is charging stage and yeah so um, it may be in you know, a type of supplies, source of supplies, swapping uh, of batteries and different standards, bi-directional charger, time and safety, location wise, you can track your vehicle uh, and the automation. Uh, sorry, I forgot to uh, uh, go, uh, let me go back. Uh, if you are chemical engineer, mechanical engineer and electrical engineer, and if you are an environmental engineer, the storage system is one of the good option to do uh, research. Similarly, charging station is a good option for computer, IT, electrical, electronic guys for uh, you know uh, do R and D on charging station. So here, a type of supply based on voltage, current, frequency, bidirectional, and that is grid communication also, and location tracking the electric vehicle and you know the load of uh, uh, grid how you can uh, transfer that that is another uh, rnd possible in uh, this subdomain of charging station then uh, there is grid communication which is one of the uh, biggest area as lots of electric vehicles are being connected with the electric grid power quality issues are increasing Okay, so how to make uh, free of electric pollution, uh, especially your electric grid. So the concept comes how to make your electric grid free of electric pollution, right? So this is uh, one of the biggest area where lots of engineers are working with uh, uh, good universities. And time of charging and its cost, how you are connecting, so uh, in that case, switch gear and protection, bidirectional supply. Sometimes you may need, you know, V2G or D2V. Uh, V2G is uh, uh, one of the biggest area where you can have high electronic converters. Then estimation of cost, time-based uh, unit, that is TOU tariff rate. So based on that, you can have R&D on this. So uh, lots of... Uh, uh, researchers uh, are working on uh, this also estimating the cost and charging how to make uh, you know your bill if you are charging at the private charging station so all these things are another important area for research in grid communication but if i uh, say most of the areas in electric vehicle are highly touched area if you go to uh, standard journals if you go to and the research resources, you will find mostly all the areas are uh, done enough work. But 
if you are interested something on it you may try your hand with this uh, subdomain other than this subdomain you have water air and rail vehicle that is electric vehicle battery manufacturing and repairing sensor development communication of the sensor with the controller and communication with battery to the motor controller okay charging as commercial and personal there are classifications of motors and it's repairing you may have your own designing you may have your own repairing method then um, lots of skill development centers are required how much uh, uh, engineers are employable especially for electric vehicle skill that is another thing and automation with luxury of course braking system and safety so uh, these are the area other areas where you can work well uh, if you want to start something on electric vehicle uh, as a base and you want to work as a researcher uh, i believe you can do it and i think how you can benefit to the EV industries. Don't uh, start just imagining that I'm going to work on this, but try to refer some research papers what industry, society, and nation uh, requires. Think about your strength, whether you are good in hardware or software, whether you are good in material selection, uh, and uh, try to work on it. Discuss with users, manufacturers, suppliers, so lots of surveys required. Refer papers, okay, don't be late in choosing your area of EV because it is already lots of research completed and patenting had happened, okay. Well, I, this is my number, this is my email ID. Uh, I know you can do it. So uh, try to select uh, electric vehicle uh, codes of GTU for minor and uh, that is for skill development because you will require to have some developing area to work on okay thank you very much do subscribe our channel thank you